just taking a quick look at this new Griselle. This is the 2400 watt model. So if you're looking at something that's around, you know, the two kilowatt hour mark, you're looking for a power station and you want something that's just got like basically all the specs, all the features that, that you want to want to have in these power stations. You might want to take a look at this thing. And uh, and also, by the way, it's the same models being sold under this EBL brand with just um, some orange accents. So we'll kind of we'll kind of talk. We'll kind of jump back to that at the at the end of the video uh, when we talk about the design stuff. But yes, yeah, you know, for the specs, in fact, let's just kind of let's just get into it right away. Uh, yes, we do get that LFP battery, and the actual capacity is uh, 1843. So you know, just under two kilowatt hours. Um, but still, you can do a lot. You can do a lot with that. And then you know, for the inverter, we do get a, a pretty you know a stout uh, 2400 watts on there, continuous. And they do mention, you know, you get that, that full 4,800 watt surge. Uh, so, you know, good stuff. Now, for all the other, um, you know, for all the other stuff down here, we'll, we'll kind of, we'll get into that here more in a second. And yes, we do get that uh, fast charging with the bi-directional inverter. And you can do up to 1,200 watts. So that's kind of the max input on there. And they do have a, a switch as well, which is, which is really nice. You know, there's no app. This is, a, you know, more of a, on the, the budget side of things you know as far as this this unit goes but we do get this actually this button here is right there the mode button um, will actually allow you to do a slower charge right so you, you don't always want to do a faster charge for various reasons uh, protect the battery health or even just you know depending on which which wall circuit you're using you might not want to pull the full 2400 watts right or the, excuse me the 1200 watts so um and there's no mention of like what the slower speed is but you know obviously it's going to be less than 1200 watts and then we do get good solar specs on this as well so 800 watts is you know the max that you can possibly do but the you know it's the voltage range is pretty usable so right there 12 to 12 to 75 volts the only thing you got to know it is uh 10 amps so you know if you want to get some good power into this thing with solar you're going to have to, you know, hook panels up in series or just, you know, get some some higher voltage like residential type panels. But but typically, I, I think most people that are probably going to be using, uh, you know, solar with a power station like this, are probably going to be using something like three 200 watt panels in series. Right. So, um, and, you know, here they show two. These are their 200 watt panels. And so basically what you want to do to get these things in series, you know, I'm not sure if these uh, Grissel panels do have uh, MC4 outputs on them. But basically, you know, to get that voltage up and hook these things up in series, you're going to want to look for some panels that have MC4 outputs on them. And like I said, you could get like three 200 watt panels, you know, that would be, you know, 600 watts. And then you could definitely with that 75 volts, you could definitely hook three of them up in series, um, you know, because these panels will be somewhere around 20 volts each right so that would be only 60 volts so that would be kind of a, a good ideal setup with this you know i don't think you're ever going to get that 800 watts but still you could you could definitely get like 600 watts which is a you know a good amount and by the way yes this thing does have a ups uh, ups mode so they're claiming 10 milliseconds on that so that's actually a good spec as well now for all the other uh, output ports on here, you know, obviously here, we, you know, we get covers for all of these things, so, but they're the, the four AC ports. And then, you know, for DC, we do get a, a standard car socket there and there's, there's two little, uh, you know, 5521 outputs on there as well. Now the USB-C is good stuff. There's actually uh, two USB-Cs and those are 100 watts, right? So the, that's good stuff. And then there's actually um, two USB-As as well. And then this is the, the Anderson input right there. So uh, they're using that for the solar. And then check this out. We actually get this, this little light button on the front. And the reason that that's <laughs> so cool is because the, the light is on the back, right? And I've talked about this in a lot of my videos. You know, you want to have the light on the back uh, so it doesn't blind you in a dark situation. And this is a, you know, a pretty good size light as well, right? This is going to disperse whatever light it is outputting quite well. And you're going to get some you know, usable light with that. And again, it's not going to blind you, but the, you know, the coolest thing about this, uh, the setup is, you know, with the switch on the front, that, that just makes so much sense, right? A lot of these units that do have the light on the back, they have the switch on the back as well, right? So you kind of got to like, you know, you got to like reach around the back and try to, to, you know, feel it, find it, whatever. So right there, you know, this is kind of like the ultimate setup, right? The, put the switch right on the front where you can see it, where you can, 
press it easily, but then have the light on the back. So uh, I really like to see that. All right, well, we got this up. Let's just do kind of a quick design review on these units. Um, you know, obviously, if, if, if you're into orange, you like the, you know, orange accents, you're going to go with the EBL. If not, you know, you can go with the Grissel model, which is just that monotone uh, look to it. But, you know, basically everything else on the units is the same. I think the design here is pretty successful. You know, it's pretty basic, pretty simple. But again, they're trying to keep these things, you know, compact. We do get that nice flat top. And uh, what's really nice is, is this is kind of like EcoFlow style where it's, it's actually like, you know, there's, it's a dished section in there, right? It actually kind of dips down there. So, um, you know, that's just always a good idea. There's no wireless charger on there, but it's just nice if you're setting things on top of there. It just kind of helps keep them on top and keep them from falling off, right? So, uh, yeah, I like to see that, you know, nice little uh, dish section there. And then, you know, as far as, uh, you know, everything else is on the front, which I like to see except for the charging ports, we do get this uh, pretty good size screen. You know, I like to see big screens on here. Just makes things easy to read, but the the actual percentage bar or the, the actual percentage number is quite small, but we do get the with the bar there. And this is just, you know, a standard backlit screen. There's no color on here, nothing fancy, but, you know, it looks like it's going to give you everything you want to know, right? The input, output, and a bunch of the icons, that, you know, basically let you know what you want to do, including that, that little UPS icon right there. And then one thing that I'm really liking here is that actually the, this, the front panel that actually has all the output ports on here, as you can see, there's like, um, it's almost like this wood grain type of finish on there. That's just a nice little design detail. Now, one thing to note is that this is a computer rendering. You know, the same thing with the Grissel here. It's a computer rendering, so, you know, hopefully that's 100% uh, accurate. You know, I guess, you know, the way that computer renders it, it could be, you know, it could be different. But the way they have it looking on here, that's just a, it's a real nice finish, a real nice touch to it, right? And then um, the little buttons here, right, the, those kind of like uh, silver, I don't know if they're, they're actually, you know, like stainless steel buttons, but they, they look like it, right? They look like nice, high-quality buttons. So, yeah, I think it just overall it looks like a quality product. Oh, yeah, and, uh, and uh, just the last little specs here, 55 pounds on this unit, which is pretty, like, middle of the road for, for these specs and kind of what we expect to see. So, you know, it is going to be quite heavy, but you can definitely, you know, pick it up and, and move it if you need to. So, yeah, hopefully you just kind of found this overview helpful. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.